All right, now for the fun part. How do you do it? That's if you want to learn. I could show you how to do it, but it takes work on your part to figure this out. You're going to have to, after you get your Rubik's Cube, you're going to have to practice a little bit every day. I would say about 30 minutes every day until you get it solved. Um, you'll probably be able to learn how to solve this in maybe maybe one week. One week is pretty fast, actually. Two weeks. I'll take Give yourself two weeks before you can solve this. When you are um, looking for a Rubik's Cube to get, don't get the cheap ones that you can get for two dollars at the dollar store. They're a little hard to turn and your thumbs and your fingers are going to be sore. So get one. That's the official Rubik's Cube brand. And then after you get one, at first it might be a little hard to turn, but after you solve it a little bit uh, and move it around, it will be easier and easier. Okay, so now you have the Rubik's Cube. Step one is to get one color. So, let's pick a color, and if you use white, the pieces that you want to get together are easier for you to spot. So, I would suggest that you go with white. So, let me give you an example of how you would solve it using white. First, get the middle white piece and point it towards the ceiling. Middle white piece right on top. Once you have um, that, you're going to keep the cube up and down like this for to start off with. Alright? Eventually you'll be able to turn it upside down, sideways. But for me to teach you better, keep the white side pointing at the ceiling at all times, and you're going to be turning it like this. Alright? And you might need to look under the cube like this, but then just know that you want to get it back to where white is pointing. Alright, so let's look around for the white pieces that we need. First, you want to get the side, or let me show you, the white piece right here, white piece right here, here and here. Okay, surrounding this middle white piece. These pieces first, and then put in the corners. Alright, so let's get this. First thing is you look around the board, around the cube, for uh, middle piece. So this piece right here, all you have to do is move it up and it goes right there. That's what you want. Alright, while you're putting these white pieces around, uh, well, first of all, let's just, let me show you how you can get white pieces around by twisting the cube like this. Um, there you go. You have a white cross. This is what you're going to look for to get something like this. Now you've, if you've played with the Rubik's Cube before, you've probably solved one color and probably gave up on the bottom two layers because it was a little hard and you had nobody to teach you. But I am going to teach you how to do the whole thing. That's my cell phone. That's my baby calling me. Hold on. Hi, honey. How you doing? Well, what's happening? Uh-huh.